like, subscribe, comment, <laughs> share. <laughs> Tell us if you plan on moving to LA. <laughs> you blurry. You gonna be blurry moving to look. I can't stop laughing. Hold on. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to, to our channel, The Gordons. Gordon. Um, so today we have a special request um, from a friend of ours on Facebook. We're going to ask her permission first if we can um, um, tell her name and if we can we'll tag her in the video. Um, so we are going to, she asked, highly requested video to talk about what it's like moving to LA with children and just living in LA with children when you are not native to the area. Right. So we're going to touch on a little bit of that today along with you know some of our experiences and places that we've been and how it worked for us. So yeah. Okay. Um, so one place that we tried to move to at one point in time was Palmdale Lancaster um, which is about uh, from Hollywood, California, Los Angeles, about an hour and a half. Um, if you live in the valley, maybe an hour, depending on traffic. Right. Um, well, I think with Palmdale, Lancaster, when we um, first, we visited, visited California um, like a year before. So I just want to put that in there. If you are planning to make a big move, I think this is important with anyone if you have kids or not. If you're planning to make a big move, it's always important to go ahead of time and check out the place, check out the area you're looking at. Right. And if it doesn't work for you, that way you have more time to check out other areas that right. may be, you know, for you yeah. or for your family. Um, Luckily, we had a friend Yes. Um, we had a friend that lived out here. Shouts out to uh, our dog, Parissa. I know she won't mind us saying her name, so shouts out to Parissa. Um, she let us come stay with her for about a week. Yeah, about a week. Yeah. Um, um, we stayed out here. Um, we visited Palmdale, uh, Palmdale Lancaster. Lancaster. One the yeah, one of the first places we visited. Um, and and we, we chose there to look first because it is a, it's a lot less expensive than living in L.A. Right. Um, in the middle or even on the outskirts it's still a little bit more expensive so right. we thought you know okay maybe we can budget this maybe this would be more for us but the distance with him being an actor and having to get to auditions the time frame just was not working right. for him so um we did check it out when we came out here prior to us moving right. it was like okay maybe we can make this work right. but by the time that we did get out here um, we actually came through Palmdale, Lancaster, spent one night there just to rest, and then yeah. we came to our um, next destination, which, like you said, was Simi Valley. Simi Valley. But also, um, to put a note in there, that also, if you want to be close to L.A. and uh, Los Angeles and Hollywood and everything, Lancaster and Palmdale is probably not your first um, pick. pick to go to. Right. Um, so... Just on that note. Yeah, but if you're looking just for a cheaper area or a, a part of California, then Palmdale yeah. and Castle And you don't mind the drive and you don't and the mind traffic, the drive, then that's the perfect LA place for you. Yeah. Perfect. So, um, moving on, um, once we got to Simi Valley, Greg's job was actually located there. So, we, um, we actually stayed there for a bit, right? Yeah, we stayed there. We stayed for there a for a while. Um, Almost tried a year. To, yeah, tried to get the feel for the area, but yeah. again, it was still a little bit too far for us, right. and it just wasn't our feel. It wasn't right for us. Right, right. Um, so. Especially trying to go back and forth to Hollywood. To yeah. California, uh, Los Angeles, sorry. Right. Um, trying to go back and forth, it's just, it's draining. Yeah, so. it was. Um, and Simon Valley is like, what, 30 minutes from Hollywood. Hollywood. Um, yeah, depending on traffic, it's Again, always depending traffic. on traffic. It's yes. always going to be the thing. Yeah. Depending on traffic, yeah, you can get there in 30 minutes. Yeah. Um, the, um, traffic's heavy, maybe 45 to an hour from Simi Valley. Right. Right. So. Yeah. Yeah, so Simi Valley is cool. It's a nice little area. Um, reminds you of like a, a Pleasantville yeah. type. Honey, I'm home. There's a place where the... Yeah, we all know what happened in Simi Valley. Uh, yeah, we, you know, um... <laughs> 
Yeah, you know what happened to me. But, uh, <laughs> How about that? We needed less travel time. Okay. This is yeah. true. We needed less travel time, so Simi Valley wasn't the best bet for us either. So, right. that landed us to our next destination, which was... The Valley. The Valley, San Fernando. San Fernando Valley. The Valley, for yes. sure. Yes. Which is a great place um, to live in our our opinion yeah there's different parts of the valley you have northridge chatsworth um reseda right. granada hills right. all of those uh thousand Sherman oaks. oaks no no thousand oaks is a different one okay what's well, close sorry what is close it's nowhere close to the valley that's like semi valley past Thousand Oaks? Yes, you mean Sherman oh, Oaks. Oh, sorry, Sherman <laughs> Oaks, I'm sorry. Sherman Oaks, Woodland Hills, West Hills, yeah. you know, all those are pretty decent areas. Yeah. I think they're good areas to, you know, have a family, if you have a small family. It, would, it reminds you of like a southern um, city that is pretty big, pretty popular, populated. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Um, what I was saying. Oh yeah, I know there will be a lot of LA natives who look at this video and be like, yeah, no, don't come to the valley. But right. again, this is <laughs> based on our experience right. and our opinion. Like we said, we're not LA natives. We were not born or raised here. Right. But moving here from another state and landing in this area, um, just like with any area, you're going to have things yeah. happen. Right. So don't expect to come and it be perfect. Perfect. Unless you got a lot of money. Now, if you got a lot of money, you can move into a good neighborhood. You strength. You you can avoid all the BS. Beverly Hills will be for you. Yeah, there you go. But if you, you know, you're on a budget and you're trying to come out here and you're trying to start some type of career. Right. Um, then the valley should be for you because. There's it's, a lot of areas of the valley. It's a lot of areas of the valley that you can move into. That's a safe neighborhood. You just got to make sure you do your research. Search. And um, it's yes. close enough to get to Los Angeles and Hollywood in a good enough, decent time. Right. Yes. Do your research. Yeah, do your research. Again, um, coming out here ahead of time, checking out the, the area, do it during doing your own research right. and if you know people out here then hit them up talk to them or whatever right. and I try to make sure that everyone who asks me what areas are good in LA I try to you know recommend the valley especially if you're on a budget right. don't get it twisted it's still expensive yes to live out yes, here yes it's gonna okay? be expensive no matter no matter where you live no matter what part no of California matter where. you live in it's still expensive yeah. and even more so when you have a family yeah even more so when you have a family so just yeah. make sure that you are taking Prepared. all of that yeah, yeah into consideration okay so um yeah yeah just do your so, research and do your research but again our our personal opinion man we love the valley um it fits us it um is. We've been here for a while, with uh, almost nine, nine years. years we've been here, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying, in the valley. So it's cool. It's been treating us well. Um, and we do plan on moving, but we plan on moving in the same area that Within we are in. The valley. Yeah. yeah. Um, it can be tough living out here without family. Right. Um, you and your significant other, you yeah. just have to really communicate and be on the same page. Right. Make sure you get some money. Make sure you bring some money with you. Um, it gets real because it will quick. get real real <laughs> quick for you and you'll um, be ready to get out of here. yes because again it's frustrating moving to a new area and not knowing where things are at uh how much things cost and just getting acclimated it's tough yeah. so make sure you have some money yeah. so that's our opinion on areas you should live in right you know what I mean? Or um, consider or research. Right. Let's say that. We are, again, right. we're not professionals. Yeah. We are not natives. Right. So, exactly. Yeah. Um, but also, man, make sure that you, you know, always shout out, shout out the L.A. folks, man. You know what I'm saying? Because, you know, you come moving to different people's neighborhoods. You know what I mean? People have been living here a long time, so you make sure you always show them love. So shout out to all L.A. folk. You know yes. what I'm saying? All the Valley folk, you know what I'm saying, for letting us just come in. You know what I mean? And just... Set up shop. <laughs> Basically, yeah. That's what we did. Right, 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 right. So, but, like, subscribe, comment, comment share. You know what I'm saying? Tell us something. Um, if you plan on moving out yeah, here. Um, plan on moving. 
Um, also, man, if you're a person that is a native, man, comment in here and tell us where you think the best place is to move. Right. Because, you know, you've been out here your whole life. You know the ups and downs, the ins and outs. You know so. the area better than we do. Right. You know what I'm saying? School these folks. <laughs> and us. And, and us. Too. Facts. Facts. <laughs> yeah. Um, so, yeah. Thank you guys again for watching our video. We hope Appreciate to see you in the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Bow.